How's it going, people? Simon Slab here, and this is your quest guide for catapult construction. So, let's get started. Quest requirements you need to have completed regicide. Skill wise, you need 56 agility, 44 construction, 42 fletching. Item wise, you need 90 mithril nails, 10 mahogany planks. I also recommend bringing along some food as we do need to run around the elf area. You can start the quest by talking to this terrorist guard right next to the catapult. So, go ahead and speak to him and offer your help. Go ahead and agree to help him once again. And this time choose what you just suggest. And then say alright I'll go and speak to him. So at this point we now need to head south into the terrace camp. First off you want to cross through these dense forest parts. And we need to speak to General Hinnon. You'll randomly wander around the center of the tourist camp itself. So go ahead and choose option one. And again, option one. And this time, option two. So now we need to find the catapult engineer. To do this we need to head up towards the elf camp just outside Tyrannon. And to do that you first of all want to go north and head through this dense forest here. From here head directly east until you come across two bears. And just south of those bears you'll find a tripwire trap. Try to step over it if you can, as it will actually poison you. So cross through this dense forest. And right by here you'll have the trip wires. They're kind of difficult to click on, so you may need to change your camera angle a bit. But go ahead and step over them. If you get poisoned, hopefully you brought food, which should easily keep you alive. From here you want to head almost directly east and there is more dense forest to pass through. So go ahead and cross through here. As soon as you're through, run directly north and follow this pathway all the way up until you come across a leaf trap. So finally once you're here, go ahead and jump across the leaf trap. And once you're here, skirt around towards your northwest. And once you've found all the pyres and the grain walls, head almost southwest in between these trees. It's hard to see the path, but you can tell if you're going in the right place as you'll see this little trap here. Go ahead and try to pass them eventually you'll succeed and hiding in the trees just to the east of you you'll find the catapult engineer so go ahead and talk to this fella go ahead and give him the supplies then go ahead and choose option two And now you'll have some construction notes. Go ahead and read the catapult schematics. So choose option 3 to make them out of your mahogany planks. And you'll go ahead and make all of the parts. So finally once you've got all the parts go ahead and talk to the catapult engineer once again. Ask if you can read the letter. So now that you've read the letter, it's time to home port. Either teleport to Edgeville or Falador, and we need to go to the dwarfs on Ice Mountain. So 
So if you're going from Edgeville, just scoot around the south side of the monastery and head up the western path. And as soon as you're up this little ramp, just head down towards the southwest. So once you're here, go ahead and talk to Rolad. He's typically in the right house. On the right hand side, I should say. Go ahead and choose option two. Can I have the parts? And he'll tell you that the delivery dwarf has them. So it's time to home port again. This time, go to Port Sarim. So, finally, once you arrive in Port Sarim, head up towards the northeast side of Port Sarim and head on inside the pub. Once you're here, you will find a dwarf sitting down next to the table. Go ahead and talk to this fella. Doesn't matter which option you choose here. As soon as he tells you to go away, go ahead, right click the drunken sailor just outside the pub and steal his hat. Once you've got his hat, go ahead and wear it and go back in and talk to the dwarf once again. So you should now be given a few metal parts as well. So with these we now need to head back to the catapult. They recently added the lodestone for Taranan, so you can go ahead and home port with that. Alternatively, because it is just a short walk away, you can simply charter a ship. It may actually be slightly quicker to charter, to be totally honest. Either way, make your way back to the terrace guard at the catapult. So, finally, once you're here, go ahead and talk to the catapult fella. If you're coming from the lodestone, it's just past the dense forest, the wire traps, dense forest again. And if you're coming from the charter ship, simply head north of uh, Tyrus. Quite simple. So once you're here, go ahead and talk to him. And now you'll have this little puzzle to do. This is very hard to explain, so I highly advise checking out the actual video itself for this, as there is literally no easy way for me to do this. First of all, you want the force-based horizontal bar to go in the top right-hand corner. Next, you want the three-spaced block to go in the bottom left corner. Next, you want to take the T piece and rotate it so the center piece is facing left and put it down at the bottom right. Then take the two space block, put it just to the right of it to fill that gap. Next up, you want the 1x4 to go on the bottom center. And finally, the 1x3 to go in the final spot. See, told you it's hard to explain. But yeah, I've leaved this picture here for a little bit just so you can see. You can also flip the picture then by clicking on one of the buttons on the side. And next up, you want the final long horizontal bar to go in the top left. Next up, 
I've no idea what to even call this thing, but um, the four with the one sticking out of it goes in the bottom right. Then uh, the monkey spanner wrench thing goes in the right hand side and the final piece slots into the bottom left. But there we go, as soon as everything's in place you should have repairs complete. You can go ahead and close that now. So go ahead and talk to the catapult fella once again. Choose option 1, yes I'll have a go. And it's now time to fire this. This one's fairly hard to explain as well, but if you keep an eye on where the counterweight is for each shot, go ahead and move right three times and it should be pointing directly at the rock now and you just need to change the counterweight until there's only one little spot of blue bar left check the video for this because there's no easy way to explain it and you will then fire the catapults fire the missiles if you got that reference you were awesome so next up, second rock. Again, you want to move right. This time move it right twice. Only this time you need the counterweight to go up close to halfway. And fire the missiles once again. And that would be the second one dunded. So, on to the final one. For this you need to move left. You want to move it left seven times, or six times I should say, sorry. And you need to move the counterweight down once. Or left once I should say. and then fire it again and hopefully you hit the third and final one so as soon as you've successfully destroyed rocks good going screw you nature you'll finally complete the game or well, the quest I should say either way two quest points 15k construction XP 5k fletch and XP 30 teak planks and 2k coins you also get an Addy Helbert, yay Increased damage when using catapults in castle walls and free spins on the Squeal of Fortune. So yeah, it's also one of the requirements for Adi tasks. So there we go. Quite a few things done in a very, very short amount of time. Happy days. So with that said, I hope you all enjoyed and found this guide very useful. And I will catch you all later. Have a good one.